Uh, before you marriage, you must open your eyes very big. Hello everybody, welcome back to Life Lens. I'm sure by now you should know that I'm actually a wedding videographer and I'm in the quest in learning and searching for the meaning of marriage. In this episode, I've managed to meet up with a very cute couple. This Chinese couple, they've been married for 42 years. The first question that I asked this couple is that I asked the husband to express his love to his wife in front of me. You should take a look at this expression. It is so, so adorable. In fact, the wife and the husband actually had tears on their eyes. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And most importantly is to share this video. Sharing this video won't cost anything to you, but it will actually make a big difference for me. <laughs> you can you can do it privately. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably every night I say that, you know. Hmm. I see. Uh. I say. Chinese style is we don't do it publicly. <laughs> you know, we you know we do it uh, subtly. See, uh, see. <laughs> see. Uh, you see it. I, I still love you. Uh, very much. Uh, good, good. <laughs> I finally found the source or ingredient to make marriages last is that No one is ten years old, right? So if you have made some mistakes, everyone can say What do you say? Consult, get hurt Everyone can sit down and talk about it Where should you go? Or Or like that Oh, I know you have to consult with each other. You must have meeting. You must you must actually talk to each other. You must actually have a discussion and you must consult with each other whenever you have problems. First thing about marriage is uh, is a lifelong thing for eternity. Actually, the thinking must be is forever, and then you will stick together, lah. You know, with that thought, lah, you will always stick together. The first purpose is to procreate, is to have children because we are here to carry forward an ever-advancing civilization. So the first purpose is to raise kids and to educate them and teach them well so that they become the best character for the betterment of this world. The idea is to be able to serve. This is really amazing. The purpose of marriage is to actually bring forth children, to raise them, educate them, nurture them so that they can become a human, someone of best character to be of service in this world. This little act that you take it for granted influence another person tremendously. We always pray together. So we always pray that we can do our service to the community together. I'm sure you know that saying, the family that prays together stays together. If your covenant is between two of you uh, only, then there is a chance of you getting further and further away. But if your covenant is with God as one party gets closer to Him, the other party gets closer to Him, then the distance between the two is closer. You see the triangle? You have to put God in the center of your marriage. Wow, I didn't see this. It says that, you know, can you look at the triangle shape? When both of you come together towards God, in fact, you are getting closer and closer to each other. In many times, it will be as we quarrel and have this group disagreement, our distance will get further and further away. Even small, small things can lead to big things. But if we have the relationship with God, big things can become small and small things can be nullified. The approach is both of us must obey God first, His command, His will. Then we will automatically, naturally get closer and closer. I'll see you again on the next episode on Life Lens, capturing moments, sharing stories.